Welcome back to the Gamekeeper's Cottage Diaries. Welcome back to Gamekeeper's Cottage on what is looking like a rather wet and windy Easter weekend and it's time for another project in the back garden. So I took a trip to B&Q yesterday and we've got a selection of sub-base aggregate, some sharp sand and eight paving slabs and we're going to be making the little seating area in between the hedge, area, hedge on the side of the garden. So let's move round to the back garden now. So I'm round in the back garden now by the area where we're going to put the paving. As you can see, I half dug a hole a while ago. It's a bit full of water, but hopefully we can carry on. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is dig everything out to a depth of about 16 centimetres. So we're going to have a 10 centimetre sub base, two centimetres of sharp sand on top of that, and then the paving slab on top of that, which I've got to measure, but it's about three or four centimetres. And then I want the actual level of the paving to be about a centimetre below the level of the current grass level so that it will tie in with the path when we put it there. So I'm going to crack on digging this out. I'm not going to film it because it's very cold and wet so I can't really set a tripod up. It's the next morning and rain stopped play yesterday. It was just too wet and windy and as you can see the hole that I've been digging for the base of the patio has turned into a bit of a swimming pool but I'm hoping to clear the water out and we'll get on with a bit more digging today now that the rain seems to be holding off. After a lot of digging and wading in mud, we have a hole that is roughly the depth that we need it, 15 centimetres and 1.8 metres by 0.9 metres. But as you can see at the moment, it is so full of mud that it is rather hard to actually level the bottom out. So I'm gonna leave it for a while to hopefully let it dry out and then try and level the bottom down just to make sure we are at the right depth. The weather is still not improving and the hole that I've dug is still a swimming pool so I've taken the decision to cover it over with a bit of tarpaulin for the day. The weather is forecast to be a bit better tomorrow and I've come over to the edge of the vegetable patch and the orchard and we're going to do a bit of a bonus job. So yesterday while I was at B&Q getting my supplies for the paving I found myself in need of a few pounds extra spend in order to get a discount so I bought myself a golden raspberry plant that we are going to plant over here on the edge of the vegetable patch. Now we've done no real planning for the vegetable patch yet, but after a quick bit of thinking yesterday, we have decided that we will eventually have a fruit cage in this area. So the raspberry plant is going to be the start of that fruit, plate, fruit cage. So the first thing I'm going to do is mow back all of the grass with a strimmer and then just start by digging out a small area just for this raspberry and then we'll start expanding it as we go along with other plants over time. Okay so first things first we're going to start by strimming out the grass in this area. 
So, I've removed the turf, I've dug over the hole, given it a good forking, removed the majority of the grass, and now it's time to actually dig a hole to put the raspberry plant in. We're going to need a hole that is deep enough and wide enough to fit the root ball from the plant pot into. So, let's start digging. About the width of the spade should be big enough. I'll go straight down. should be plenty deep enough. Okay, so the plant is out of the pot. Let's just try the hole for size, just make sure we're okay. So, yeah, the level of the pot, top of the pot, is level with the soil level, so let's start filling the hole in. There we are, that is the plant in place. All the soil firmed down. I'm just going to go and get some water now and we'll get a good watering and then I'm going to put some mulch over the top of it just to protect the soil. chip bark here and I'm just going to mulch the area over with this. This will help to hold the moisture in and also suppress some of the weeds as well. So we'll just do a good covering of this.
There we are. That should be enough to keep the grass at bay and just hold some of the moisture in. Welcome back to day three of the seating area paving project. It's a lot drier today and the hole has dried out and I have checked all the levels. It is now about 15 centimetres deep all around so it's time to start laying the sub base. And as a quick hint for getting the sub base level, I've got a couple of sticks here that I've marked three lines on. The bottom line here is going to be my base. I will put that into the dirt to that level. Then I have got two more lines, one at 10 centimetres, one at about 12 and a half centimetres. 10 centimetres is my final level. 12 and a half centimetres is the level that I've found type one aggregate needs to be at to compact down to 10 levels. So the first thing I'm going to do is put these sticks in place at the level they need to be. there we have it, the two sticks are in place, that will give us a level to work with. I'm now off to go and get my aggregate from around the front of the house. Okay, we've got our first wheelbarrow full of the MOT aggregate, so I'm going to start putting that into the hole and leveling it out. hold just now but we now have all the remaining sub base in place I'm now going to compress it down level it out and then we'll move on to the next stage so it's now roughly level and it's time to start tamping it down with the earth rammer that you can see in front of me
it's the next morning and I actually stopped filming yesterday as I needed to get the work done as the weather forecast for today wasn't looking very good well that appears to be wrong so after I left you I spent an hour or so pounding down the MOT type 1 sub base I then put a two centimeter layer of sharp sand across the whole area and then fitted the paving slabs over the top of that so as you can see we've got eight paving slabs in place two of them I had to break off to actually fit around the concrete for the fence post but that will be hidden when we eventually put the seat in place so that's that project ticked off the list All that remains is for me to thank you for watching and to ask that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and join us in the comments below to help the channel grow. Thank you and we'll see you next time.